What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my 2017 RXTX 300 here and I'm wanting to put con cruise control on it because I've really been missing it. My wife has it on her GTI 155 Limited and she's really come to appreciate it. So today I'm going to show you how to install the ski module. So here's the ski module from uh, Sea-Doo and there's the part number for this one. It's made for 2011 and later models because the fuse box changed. Now one thing that they do not tell you is that you also need a wiring harness and a little 3 amp fuse to go with it. So with this battery cage, I found it easier to remove the battery altogether because you're going to have to get to the bottom side of the fuse box. So it will be easier just to pull the whole thing out. It's held in by two bolts and you'll use a number 13 socket to loosen those bolts and remove them. Let's start with the fuse box first. We're going to end up using the second set of holes uh, right here and we'll have to remove this bus bar. I would use the bottom set but you can see that silver right there there's already some power coming into there another wire so we'll just use this one and if you want to use the bottom one that's fine and you can just pull your power from the second one. Let's start with removing this bus bar. You can see this is the bottom side of the fuse box and we'll use that second set of holes there. These little rubber plugs are in the bottom side of the fuse box itself. So I just used a pick and push through in all three of these holes to get the plugs to pop out. There are two wires coming from the wiring harness. One is red and one is purple. The purple will go from the fuse side and one red will come from the fuse side and connect over to the bus bar side. To install these, make sure they are oriented in the correct direction and slide them up until you hear them click. Now we're gonna get the diagnostic cable and remove this plastic sheathing. And we also have to remove this cover here and there's a plug on the back we'll have to remove this white plug and that's where that other purple wire is going to plug into now we've removed the cap off the end and we'll take the purple connector slide it in until it clicks now it's in place here and we'll take the green cover and put it back on all right, don't forget to install that 3 amp fuse here. And I have gone ahead and installed the module. And I just put it up here uh, through this zip tie. And it has another cable coming off of it so you can still have your diagnostic port. So I just put that cover back on there. And we are good to go. I'll put the cover back on the fuse box and give it a try. Alright, just trying it. Let's press the mode button to see if it. Uh, there it is. Ski mode. Ramp 3, 4, 5. So, all we need to do now is test it out. So, we got a chance to try everything out and it works well, although it works a little bit differently than the, the cruise control that's on my wife's. Hers, you just press a button on your selected speed and you're off and away. So, this one, you have to go through a couple of different menus. At first, you've got to choose the ramp, which is the acceleration curve. And then it'll ask you to select the speed. And then once you set that in, you're ready to go. Uh, but it seems to do what I want it to do. And it was a very easy install. I hope you liked the video. If you did, press that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks, guys.